Hey, 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 greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So uh, we're doing a Kickstarter unboxing. Some of you who've been with me a while may remember the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Kickstarter. This was for a range of three and three quarter inch kind of monkeys, apes, if you will, and various other animals. Uh, we had the other Kickstarter. Uh, we got a few figures. It's in that three and three quarters range. It's kind of one of those. I'm hesitant to say disappointed, but sometimes when you do a Kickstarter and say you're really into three and three quarter inch figures at the time you, you do the Kickstarter, but by the time the figures have actually been cut, done, gone in production, and arrived, you might have kind of waned on your. Um, addiction to three and three quarter figures at that time so i think that was a bit of a, a shame with these that kind of it was in the kind of autumn of my three and three quarter inch figure time and i think as well that even though these you know a cool figure you know there's there was like boss fight studio and marauder task force who kind of really dominated that market and yeah, they were cool. I loved all the artwork and stuff, and kind of just always wanted something a bit more from them. Which is what we're delighted to see here. Now, they've done the, uh, they're called the Primal Wave or the Primal um, Subline, which is, we've gone six inch, that's what we're doing. We're going six inch boys and girls and so we get to see some of those great designs in a I think a more optimal kind of vision for them. Um, this has arrived today. Stung by customs. Oh, all kinds of stuff. So, But eventually it's here and we're going to open this up today and we're just going to take a look at what uh, guys we've got. Voice, and we have some storage paper. And let's see. So we have this guy, this is Blight. We have um, Cordoon. Cordoon. Cordoon, Cordoon. We have uh, Lexion. We have a box of heads, so we can do some swap outs. And yeah, it's the Primal series. We've got the big boy. Look at this general fame now there are a couple of my items I am missing now what they did is they said that international shippers we're not sending you out your wave one separately we're gonna wait till everything's come in and then we're gonna send you everything but what they've done is they've sent us all the stuff from wave two but they've not sent us the stuff from wave one uh, I'm trying not to get too kind of mad at it because you know these things happen mistakes happen uh, just because you could design and create really good figures I hope these are really good figures it doesn't mean you're very good at actually doing supply chain stuff so it feels like there's been some cock-ups in that um, area that, you know, if they're going to progress as a company, they either need to sort it out or outsource it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just going to try and just enjoy these figures for what they are and not for mistakes that have happened. It'll get sorted out. All right, so where should we start with? Well, these two are kind of 
uh, kind of different classes. So we're going to start with Blight. Blight is kind of, uh, I'm a Transformers fan, so I'm going to call him Nemesis Pale. So he, he, the, the main character is Pale. And Blight is a shadowy emissary, emissary sound sent by Kali to undermine and undo the good will Pale is working so hard to build between the other great houses. Yes, yeah, so he's Nemesis Pale. And you can see this in the color scheme. He's got a very kind of nemesis -y kind of um, color scheme. Oh, there was a bag of hands there that we, we, we've dropped. Uh, so yeah, let's just release. Oh, this looks absolutely beautiful. So we've got some weapons. We've got a bit of a staff here. Uh, sword. More shorter swords. Even a knife. Is that a knife? Call that a knife. Um, Oh, there is one there's one twisty tie you know how I hate twisty ties okay it might be hard to pick up on the camera because he is just so black um, really this jet black kind of skin you can see some red Menacing eyes the but oh my god the sculpt work is that is beaut beautiful 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 so he's got one fairy bare arm there and this arm here is more armoured it's like a dragon not a dragon a uh, lion pauldron not pauldron Shoulder doodad, that kind of, you can pop that up and it'll pop out of the way to kind of help articulation. Yeah, so it's always best to warm your figures up uh, before you really kind of do some extreme posing with them. These guys have been crossing the world during a heat wave, so, you know. Who knows? That's, that's, that's the wonder of these things is, you know, they go um, made in China, packaged in China, shipped off to America, unboxed, well, not unboxed from an actual box, back packed back up again sent from america to england you know it's no wonder things go missing and go awry but uh yeah we've got um there's a nice there's a nice butterfly joint here on the shoulder I, I, i'm gonna he's great he's great the weapons the 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 blue to the gold kind of sickly it's a sickly gold as well Makes it look toxic. That is just but shiny. Shiningly toxic. Yeah, I was supposed to be getting a weapons pack as well, but that's also not here. So you can hold these weapons really good. Uh, he's got a bandolier, can he get? He can get one blade into his back there. There's nothing really on his hip skirts that allow him to store. He's not got a cock, <laughs> just in case. I wanted to know. So we'll get one of these out because I believe they'll have, because they're less dark, they might show up better on camera. The, articulation so we'll remove him 
from his box. We're just going to be mindful of the. Oh, these ones are sellotape down. Sellotape down the hands on this one. Uh, So here we get a bag of hands. Now this is a sign of somebody who knows what they're doing. That's a sealable little baggie for when you're having things like extra hands and stuff. It's appreciated. The amount of times you open up a figure and you just don't, you've got nothing to do with the, the millions of hands that they give you i mean it's nice to have options but sometimes it's just a, it's just too much especially don't when you don't have any they don't give you anything to store them in right right lexion is a feralist i forgot about that um twisty tie there's one twisty tie um i'm not entirely sure what that means there is a comic book you could check out it looks really good I, found, I was thinking about getting some copies of it i think they're going to online only soon so i might check it out when it's online see if i've got anything compatible to to read it on he's a feralist i think that means he's a jellical cat uh but yeah we can get like a better kind of look at that articulation here i mean that top tier top tier Mmm. And just the armor looks great. The armor. Mmm. 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 And you know, like I say, you're supposed to warm up the joints, but they're like butter. Oh. <laughs> they're like butter. Oh, dear me. Right. And this guy comes with two curved swords. That I'm gonna say they're identical, they're not quite identical, they're not quite identical. The two curved blades, but as you can see, the curve is a different design on each, the hilts are a different design on each, and he's got this kind of duality in the colors of his armor, so you can kind of mix them up. have them kind of on opposite sides to his arm armour which makes them the correct sides for his shin armour but yeah look at the look at that look at that look at it he's just got oh Glorious, 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 glorious. Really, I'm really oh, beautiful. Mm, beautiful, that's all I'm saying. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Amazing head sculpts. I think this guy's head sculpts I was looking forward to the most. I don't know why, but he just really kind of um, got me. Um, Oh, this is Lexian. That's Cordoon. Right, I'm excited. Cordoon is a ruthless mercenary who betrayed his people and countless others in the hunt for profit and glory. Yeah. We like a bit of profit and glory. So again, hands are in the bag in there. We're not going to get them out. We know. There's posable hands. I probably should show you. Uh, what different hands you get because I, I can't even remember to uh, but there's a twisty tie in there so again mm. for someone who's a betrayer that head sculpt is just so noble I love it I love it uh, yeah we forgot that um, in my eagerness 
Well, we, we got his name wrong as well for a start. Cordoon gets has a bow. There's not really anything fancy to attach that to, but you can stick it back there if you want to fully weaponize him. So hands. I will show you what hands we get. Because you might be interested. You might have turned off two years ago. But... So we get fists for some punching. And we get open hands for some gesturing. And then we've got holdy hands. And that's that's pretty much all you need. I mean, you know, I don't need to throw peace signs or do a little ooh, ooh hearts or whatever. But we don't, in this world, but we don't get them. That's a knife. Well, this guy also gets a blaster. See, I like is we've got a bit of kind of that Masters of the Universe kind of aspect going on here where everything's mostly kind of, you know, there's got a load of guys who are hand-to-hand -hand melee combat. But an occasional, there's an occasional gun thrown in there just to keep it a little bit fruity. And I like that it because it looks like it's like old tech, you know, the wraps around it look and stuff like that. So it doesn't look like this has come new from a shop or something like that. It looks like it's been something that's been scavenged and found rather than yeah specifically built. So you can hold a gun. Again. Be mindful of toys. I was, I was being cocky saying like everything's been, you know, traveling around in heat waves, so, you know, we can just move around stuff. As soon as you, if you've got something new, and as soon as it starts to give you that little bit of resistance, it's not worth kind of carrying on with trying to bend it the other way, because I say that as I'm trying to bend it the other way. Because, you know, we don't want to, um, you don't want to break your new figure. Of just the extra little paint on his legs with his spots. <laughs> I'm going to be really dumb now. I presume he's some kind of creature. <laughs> so he gets the gun, the knife, and if he's run out of pew pews. He gets a crossbow as well, which is cool. So he's got all this lethalness and he's got this cool chest armor that I don't think we've seen. Have we seen any of them with chest armor yet? No, no. So we've not seen any of them with this chest armor before. So yeah. Mmm. Really impressed. I'm, I am really impressed, guys. Uh, so we had those. Then we had this head pack. Uh So we've got some spur heads here. So you can do is you've got like a grey version of the pale slash um, blight head. We've got this baboon head. So I'll say if I wanted um, Lexian. To be a baboon warrior instead, I could pop his head off, comes off easily enough. And pop that on. And there he is. See, that works. The grey is not an exact match, but. Uh, 
it's close enough to work. And you just got a completely different character. <laughs> um, with then the final head is this one, and I'm a big fan of the Planet of the Apes films, especially the the recent ones. So this one that you know looks a lot like Cobra from that. I wanted it. I wanted it. So we've got Pale. I do love the teal mohawk. Not pale. Blight. Get your name right. But I wanted to see. What it looked like with this sinister head on as well. Yeah, yeah, we like that. So let's get to the last, the big guy, the big guy. Um, but you guys are, we're going, we're glad you didn't get any more figures because this video has gone on too long already. This was like, like crown, crowning glory of the um, of the Kickstarter, the kind of um, I think we only just reached enough funds like after I think it was unlocked by the backer kit, if I remember rightly. Someone for a moment, but it was just like a lot of excitement about will they or won't they get this. Big guy. Of course, he has more twisty ties because he's bigger. And there was one around the neck as well. Ooh, that. That new plastic smell. Mmm. Ooh, intoxicating. I'm running out of space here. He's massive. Got a couple of clicks there. A waste. Got this big old shoulder armor. Again, I think with this guy, because he's, he's so big, his articulation, we've all had, you know, we've not all had builder figures, but it works on that builder figure logic where, you know, you've got your big guy, doesn't necessarily end up having as many joints, as much articulation as the other guys, but that's not to say that he's lacking in articulation. He seems to have everything in here. Look at those. Look at those beautiful. I keep saying beautiful. Look at those soulful blue eyes. They're like drops in the ocean. He's going to romance you. Right. <laughs> what does he come with? He comes with. Well, actually comes with an additional head so um so if you wanted a more armed up helmet head there you go got a couple of big fists and i think it looks like there's more um hands in the box as well and an hammer So, yeah, there's a couple of, like, gesturing, grabbing hands here. Um, and then, oof. yeah, I want to warm this up before I start sticking his hammer into his holy hands. Is it the right size? 
I'm just like gonna stress this guy out. Forgive me, this is just an experiment. Yeah, so if you go not over the wraps but into the actual onto the shaft oh, wording, you can get smaller figures to wield this big impressive hammer. I don't want to quite give this guy holding it yet until I have a chance to warm up because those those hands are oh they're stiff. Should we do some size comparisons? That's what we like. Uh, so here he is. Typical animal warrior with the three and three quarter scale um, against other six inch figures. Let's we're gonna use Kickstarter figures for this. So this is against a Valiverse six inch line, uh, one of the swarm troopers. Uh, one of my, one of my, one of my personal favourite Kickstarter action figures is the uh, plunderlings. So we wanted some little goblins to run around with your animal warriors. Why not? It's the, like this is like the greatest eighties cartoon crossover of two things that were not, but should possibly have been. 80s cartoons. Look at that. Look at that. And then, um, for good measure, this is a beast of the Mesoic Triceratops. So, yeah, they could. We could definitely have some of this action going on. So, again, um, <laughs> free free quarter figure. Oh, oh, uh, six inch figure. Plung plundering. We don't know what scale of plundering is. Um, looking forward to when the plunder longs and plunder larges come that's gonna be whew, there's gonna be a lot of them as well and and triceratops reach the bazooic <laughs> if you wanted to see two of these guys together because we actually quite did that there we are there's the, the standard size and your deluxe size Animal Warriors. I don't know if every deluxe size is going to be this big or some are going to be bigger, some are going to be smaller, but uh, really want to. I want a rhinoceros <laughs> uh, and a triceratops as well. But there you go. Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. I'm really impressed. The figures are awesome. Sort your shipping out. That's that's what we're going to say. We've got to, we've got to call out the good and the bad. Brilliant figures. Really, just, just wait. You, you will we'll make the people wait. The international backers wait. We'll send everything out at once. Forget to send waveform. <sighs> but yeah, I really. If you see these around, or you see them online, I'd really recommend buying them. I think they're gonna, they're gonna go places. These, they're gonna go places. That they are such characterful sculpts. Really excellent articulation. The paint and everything, the accessories are all mmm, chef's kiss. So yeah, the, 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 their own worst enemy at this stage. So positive, positive, the good, right? Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, because you deserve it. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do this anymore, but let's bump this, shall we? Bestow. Fisto!